welcome in this learning we are going through all the steps in getting started with creating python apps for our corporate finance in particular and quantitative finance in general here i have created this text file uh, which contains uh, steps in getting started first of all if you are new to this environment i will quickly explain these steps you need to go to this uh, url link www.python.org slash downloads where you will download the latest version of the python second thing is that you will also need to download and install vs code so I am assuming that you have installed VS Code from code.visualstudio.com, the latest version of that, right? So once these two steps are done, then you will set up the virtual environment. So first of all, we will go into the folder, right? We will create a folder, right? So you can create a folder by going to the command line prompt to the terminal and create a folder there or you can do it here for example in the previous application i created this folder coding for qf and within this folder i can create an another folder where we will contain this app let us give this name to this folder and maybe let us give it a name of 02 qf app so this is folder that we have created in this folder we will go and now we will create the virtual environment so if you want the virtual environment for each particular app then it is a good idea that we go to that directory for example change directory so we are going to this directory that we just created and here we are in this directory here we will create the virtual environment virtual environment is created by this command i will just copy it and paste it and run it and it will create the virtual environment within that directory so now you need to activate the virtual environment when you are on windows you can follow this command uh, and let us run this command so once virtual environment is created this sign would come venv within the brackets it shows that virtual environment has been created we are all good the only thing is that we have decided to create web apps using this library shiny so we need to install that as well so let us run this command and if it is not installed already it would install the uh, shiny library because we have decided uh, today to use uh, shiny for creating our python web apps here i am getting some message so the message that i got was that uh, i am using the older version of pip which was 20.2.3 however the latest version was available and the good thing is that i also was suggested that I can run this command uh, in the command prompt uh, and this is that command and one I, once I run that command uh, the peep was upgraded so sometime we have to do that if we are on new system most of the things are going for by that time by this time we have done four steps right and uh, now the next step is that within this folder we will create our shiny app right so here uh, we will go and create a file we will give it a name of app.py press tab this is blank file so here we will do the code whatever we plan to do through our app make sure you are in this directory where you have this app.py uh, file go in there right create whole code in app.py file and this time we have decided to create an app which has this heading of adjustable cash flow and there is a numeric input over there where cash flow for end of year one are entered and then we have a slider rather uh, for second year right 
and uh, here the minimum value of slider is 0 and maximum value is uh, 500 and then we have an action button right and this action button uh, would display calculate and the moment we hit that calculate button then this is that processing happening and the processing is that it will take the numbers from the numeric input that numeric input uh, over there the first cash flow number and then it would add to that input 2 input 2 is actually from the slider so the cash flow from the slider it would take and then calculate the total cash flow right upon the click of button this is what we are trying to achieve uh, make sure we are in the same directory in which this app.py is created so now i run this uh, by clicking this button and here we go we have this app fully functional and uh, definitely there is a header over there first cash flow we enter uh, in the numeric input and then second cash flow we take from the slider and uh, whatever those values are if we hit this uh, calculate total cash flow button it would give us this answer and uh, you can maximize it and view it in the browser if you like definitely by default values the total is three thousand dollars this way this uh, gave you all the steps to get started with python web apps for our corporate finance and quantitative finance purposes before we go i will uh, scroll down the code for this app so if you need to come back you can come back and definitely get to know the code so the code for this app was using slider and i will slowly scroll down i will scroll down to this code here but if you think the font is a little small you can go and change some of those preferences in preferences go to setting and there must be font size here you can increase here a bit up to 14 and uh, here is a little bigger version of the font. I don't intentionally want to increase the font size beyond 14 because then it will be cut off. The code will be cut off. Thanks for joining.